Hey guys, it's Ty. Um, currently letting my truck warm up. I'm going to be driving over to uh, the parents' house today, and me and my dad are going to be spending the whole day pretty much until uh, the sun goes down. Laying out plans and putting in uh, some spray marks on some trees to mark what's getting cut, what's staying, uh, where we're going to be putting the food plots for next year. Um, because we're going to be totally renovating our 10 acres. I mean, what we have right now is good. It's better than the average person if they only have 10 acres. But um, after talking to the Randy Vanderveen and, and learning some new stuff at Whitetail Ambush Secrets, there's a lot more we can do. We're going to utilize our uh, western side of our property a lot more than we normally have. And uh, hopefully um, get, a, get a plan laid down now. And then we're going to start hinge cutting here in the next couple weeks. Um... And hopefully we're going to be seeing a lot more buck activity in our woods during the daylight hours. All right, so it is roughly 5 o'clock. The sun's starting to go down. We're out of the woods, and we got a lot of work to do. Um, there's times where I uh, wish I had more property, and I would take it in a heartbeat, but uh, I tell you what, our little 10 acres is going to take a lot of days and a lot of hard work, hinge cutting where we need to. Um, we made some great discoveries today, though. We were really worried about the clear cut we made without being educated or knowing really what we were doing. We just did it trying to hope, hey, deer like thick stuff, let's make some. So, I mean, we basically, we didn't hinge cut anything. If it was a tree that we cut, we cut it completely through and uh, made a big mess up here by the road. I'll try to show you when I drive by it, but we're going to clear that up some. We, we found a couple spots where deer have been bedding. Um, we're going to open up some more paths going through it and open up little cubbies, hopefully, to encourage the deer to bed a little bit more, but... uh the awesome thing is, uh, I'm going to post some pictures, you probably already saw them or you will after you scroll down after the video, um, a lot of those stumps, you know, we may not have done it the right way, but we did it the right time of year when all the sap was down in the roots, and then come the spring bloom, I mean, there are some stumps that have over 50 shoots coming out of them, and uh, it's going to really thicken up this next year, now that those shoots are going to start budding and producing leaves and more branches. But, uh, so that was absolutely incredible, and uh, it wasn't all for naught now. We felt like we kind of destroyed that area, but uh, the deer only were bedding around the edges of it. But we found a couple interior beds. We're going to make some, some better bedding area around the stuff that we fell. And we're also going to be planting a big screen up along the road. And I actually, uh, we're going to be trying a different approach, or a different plan at least, than what a lot of guys have. We're going to be planting these uh, hybrid 
trying to think. I'd have to find the name again. My dad has it, but uh, we just discovered them. Supposedly, they'll grow six to eight feet, and in the first year, a uh, uh, normal be human being at five and a half feet isn't going to be able to see over them, not even on their tippy toes. So we're going to plant those along the road, along with some pine trees we're going to fence in, just to create more of a shield to the south and along the road that the deer are going to feel safer and they're going to bed down a little bit more even up there where we uh, want them to and made them and uh, encouraging them to. The turn up plot was just a total failure this year. The deer are hammering it. They ate everything. All what did grow, they ate. And I mean, it's just a big mud mess. It's all on too much clay soil. So we're going to try to till that up real good this uh, coming spring. Um, we might plant some buckwheat there to try to get some root channels going down through the soil. We're going to up some nitrogen content into the soil, and then we're going to plant some of those uh, trophy radishes that are that uh, Randy Vanderveen introduced me to, but I mean, those things can grow the size of your wrists and about 8 to 12 inches long, so they're really going to break down through that clay, we're hoping. Um, even if they don't grow that big, even if they only grow 6 inches, that's going to be a success, so we're going to try it. Um, you guys are going to be taking along on the ride. Um, we picked out a couple spots to plant a couple more food plots. we got to clear them. Um, do a lot of hinge cutting, getting the canopy down, and uh, our biggest goal really is you're going to get to see, and I'll show you on a diagram sometime, we're going to be hinge cutting all along our northern border due to the hunters who seem to ignore the property line and seem to believe they have permission to shoot onto our property because we have permission to shoot onto their property and we've had that permission for eight to ten years now before anybody else even hunted it but uh, the hunters that are now being allowed to hunt it let's just say we're not getting along with them too well but uh, we're gonna discourage that a little bit so I think that's right all I here got is for this now. clear cut I don't know how good this is gonna turn out but we'll see but you can see all the trees that we fell and uh, it's really not thick right now there's some hinge cutting we just did today we're going to do a lot more, but it gets really thick right through there. We found some beds down in that. But you can see how we're going to hinge cut along this whole edge. Some of these big trees are going to come down. And along this edge of the property line, which we get to hunt this property back behind this house. But uh, we're going to create a natural screen with some bushes and stuff along both the road and the neighbor's property line just to encourage the deer to feel more safe. And actually, it's going to make them feel more safe.